Uh, we got a fifth wheel in here and uh, looks like a very beautiful install here. We got uh, everything nice behind little windows and stuff and that's pretty cool. But uh, we did find something that uh, is a little concerning. Uh, system pretty much shut down. And what we found was this switch here on a 12 volt system. As you can see, there is some evidence of heat there and the switch no longer is conductive. It is on green, but we're getting uh, 13 volts on this side of the switch and 12.48 on the other side of the switch, and pretty much nothing works. Um, well, because the switch has likely been cooked. We will take that apart and find out for sure here in a second. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, see what, or continue to watch if you wanna see what, uh, what we're gonna replace it with and why. All right, we got uh, this pulled apart here, and uh, we can definitely see some evidence of uh, this wire getting hot. You can see it's kind of bluing on that copper there. This is on the lug that was in there. We're going to be replacing that because I don't like those either. Uh, Class T fuses are great, but you can't reset them, and uh, I do recommend lugs, not the screw-down type. Uh, but look at, take a look in here. You can see definitely some evidence of melting there, and this was kind of a dead giveaway here on the back plate there's a witness mark from something got real hot and pushed into there. Probably one of those. So, yeah, not good. Uh, these are at best rated for probably about a, well, on the sticker it may say, I don't know what it's gonna say, but um, 150, maybe 200 amps continuous. But uh, if your fuse is at 400 and this is rated at 200, guess which the fuse, guess which one is the fuse? It's that because that's going to fail first, and it did. All right, so you can see here, that is not square on there anymore, is it? Yeah, just a lot of evidence of heat. Uh, I can't stress enough, if you see glue squeezing out of your heat shrink, you got a problem. Uh, that's a definite early warning sign that you got issues. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I would say also if, well, I should say if you're notching your stuff, you got a problem, but a lot of times if you're having to modify your lugs to fit it into your switches or breakers, that's a problem. However, so this is the uh, famous die hole breaker that we put in quite a bit. You see it on a lot of our builds. And uh, so this is what we put in here. Works real well. Uh, luckily the uh, previous installer left enough wire where I could pull that out and get a new crimp on there without much of a problem, but that is a much better way to do things. So what we're gonna do here shortly is turn it on and we'll do a thermal camera test on it, make sure nothing's getting hot. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, removing this little screw there. Uh, that'll help make sure that you don't, uh, that we're getting good contact on that bus bar. Because anywhere where you don't get good contact, that's gonna build heat. And uh, heat is the enemy in these. So it's a little bit later now and got the uh, lugs taken off and just want you to see something here that um, it's kind of interesting to me that this is the way the contacts on this work where it's just these nuts there and I don't even know if they're copper. Maybe we'll find out here real quick. But uh, normally there's just, so this, this nut and a uh, washer hold the lug on there and that's the contact patch. There's no way you know, even two, 300 amps are getting through that safely. Uh, but I'm gonna, before I end this video out, I'm gonna see if those are actually copper, see if they got a chance of conducting. But uh, other than that, it's going in the box of shame here, which as you can see, the box of shame is getting big. We've got even bigger switches in here that have melted. We've got class T fuses that have burned, all kinds of stuff. All right, let's check this out. All right, well, I started to uh, try and scratch the surface of it there a little bit, and to me, it does nef definitely does not look like copper. It could be, it could be very thickly tinned copper or some sort of other hot, more conductive metal. But I guess I'm pretty confident it's not copper. So there's that. Um, anyway, let's throw this in there. So uh, stay safe out there. Don't use this stuff. All right. Take care.